Hi everybody. I think I'm here. I think I'm live. Um, now I said, oh, hello. Hi. Hi. Welcome. I said I was going to go live and about 10 minutes ago I realized I didn't really know what I was doing. So I'm just going to eat a piece of toast, but I want you to ask me questions. Um, so yeah. Oh, sent a request to be in your video. What do you think guys? Do I let people join the video? How Oh, lots of people want to be in the video. Are you eating toast too? Mm. Hi, Robbo. Okay, so. Wow, people from the Philippines. This is so awesome. I actually just finished work. I got in about 45 minutes ago. It was a good day. I'm just going to see if I can let you guys be in the video. Let's see what happens. <laughs> a problem with your neck? Oh dear. I'm not a real doctor. Hi. Hi, you requested to go live. How's it going? You're live. I am. You're live right now. Are you kidding me? No, um, honestly, it's happening. Oh my God. I'm so God. excited for you. Yeah, I just oh, added I you, girl. I love you so much. I love you so oh, much. How are you doing? I'm doing so good. How are you? I'm good. Where are you in the world? Um, I'm in Ohio. Ohio. Okay, yeah. nice. What time is it there? Um, it is... I don't know what time. It, it's nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Okay. Krista, Same here. Nine. It's five past nine here. <laughs> Hi. How's it going? Hi, this, who's this? This is my sister. Hi, what's your name? Krista. Hi, Krista. You, play you didn't know you were going to be on someone's Instagram live tonight, did you? No. <laughs> you're really pretty, though. Yeah, oh, thank you. That's very sweet of you to say. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Wait, can okay. I show my mom? Sorry? Can I show my mom? Yeah, of course you can. Why not? Oh, Oh my god, this is so exciting. Are you watching the show tonight? Um, no. I'm going to tomorrow, though. Oh, no. Okay, you can watch it tomorrow. Okay, that's... Mom. Well, hopefully nothing gets I'm ruined on the internet. Hi, yes. Mom. How's it going? Hi. I'm actor. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. You weren't <laughs> expecting this. Oh Don't worry. That's okay. so cool. I know. Oh. Okay, guys, I'm going to take off. I'm gonna, mm, how do I do this? I'm gonna stay on here, but I'm gonna, how do I get you out of the Instagram live now? I don't know. Oh man, well, you. I guess you gotta stay on with us then. <laughs> Maybe you have to hang up. <laughs> okay, I'll hang up. Thank you so much. No, I'm so glad that you could join. Thank you, I love you so much. Oh, I love you too. Have a nice evening. You too. Bye. Bye. Okay, guys, I can see a lot of you are requesting. Are you going to be ready for this? I'm just going to randomly let someone join this. And you can ask me any questions that you want to ask me. Hi from Ecuador. Good to see you. Okay. Who's it going to be? It's Live Roulette with Dr. Bloom. What's happened here? Oh, hi. Hello. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Were you ready for this? No. Oh, oh my God, look who it is, guys. Is this Janet Montgomery? Oh um, no, sorry, wrong number. I, I, is this? What? Oh my gosh, this is Janet. It's me, it's me. I'm on oh another gosh. TV show. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good, you? I'm good. Do you know who else is on with us right now? Yes. Hi. You do? do you like yeah. this guy? Yeah. What What TV show is he on? New Amsterdam. He um, is? Yeah. The guy we have there, but all we no. no, no, no. He looks a bit like the guy on it, but no. This, <laughs> this is a different person, I think. Oh, uh, oh no. We lost him. I did not expect this. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> did you want to ask us anything? Um... Oh, oh, the internet. 
What's your favorite food? <laughs> My favorite food, chocolate. But really? not just any chocolate. It has to be Cadbury's chocolate and not just any Cadbury's. Cadbury's all the way from England. <laughs> it's just slightly different. I don't know why. But yeah, chocolate. I Tyler, like chocolate. what's your favorite food? I like hamburgers. Mmm. Can you hear me now? I'm a vegetarian, on? but I do like the impossible meat one. <laughs> oh, I think you're back on. My favorite food is avocado. Oh, man, I lost you. I couldn't hear uh, that. Was that avocado on toast? Avocado. <laughs> avocado How is your favorite is that? food? <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> I you know what? My favorite food really is maple syrup. Yeah, you do. Tyler actually came over to my house and I told him that I probably wouldn't make dinner, but we could order something. And he said, I'll bring dinner. So yeah. he did. He bought a lasagna that he'd made earlier. It was a vegetarian lasagna. Syrup in his lasagna. I've got to say, it was incredible. Vegetarian lasagna, mushroom. It was very rich and very delicious. And then I he left it with everything. us as well. So we ate it the next day. I did. We got to do that again. <laughs> I got to come by and cook for you again. Look at what I'm left with, Tyler. I'm just eating toast now. <laughs> is, that, you've is, been that, is that marma on there? You got peanut butter? What is that? No, I just went straight up butter. Nice. Nice. <laughs> straight up butter. I, I, do that, I do that with cinnamon raisin toast a lot. Mm. Butter on cinnamon I get, raisin I toast. I get cinnamon raisin bagels, and they go down a treat in my house. Yeah, what was I talking about? Avocado being my favorite food a minute ago. That's baloney. That's not true. I don't know. It was like a quirky, quirky thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> you know so what my weird. favorite food is? <laughs> Avocado pumpkin seeds. caviar. Mine's yeah. caviar. <laughs> Mine's pepitas. Pumpkin seeds. Um. Anyway, I'll let you guys talk. I, I actually wanted to just like creep on your live to see how you do it. I want to watch a pro do it. Well, I wouldn't say I'm a pro. <laughs> I actually realized 10 minutes before I started this, I didn't really know what I was doing. So I'm just, oh. I'm just shooting the shit, you know? It's okay, I'm taking, I'm taking notes. I'm taking extensive notes. I'll give them back to you tomorrow. Okay, yeah. please do, please. <laughs> many, many, many critiques coming your way. But anyway, love you, Janet. I'll see you soon. Love you. Bye, darling. Bye. Okay, who else have we got here? Mm. Okay, mm. Argentina, hi. Hi from Chile, hey. So does anyone want to come on and ask me any questions? Do you want to go live with me? Who wants to go? Oh my gosh, we've got a lot of people wanting to go live. Okay, who are we going to do it to? Mm. Okay, here we go. Someone else is joining us live. I just don't know who it's going to be. Uh oh. Oh, no, they didn't come. Hmm. Oh, here they all are. Here are all of you requesting to go live. Okay, let's go with... Let's get a couple of you in here. Why not? Oh, no, I can only... Guys, I'm really struggling. I don't know why it's not letting me add you. Maybe it's because I've still got someone in the room. Oh, questions. Okay. Okay, here we go. This is from the Tam Tam Adan. I ship Dr. Bloom and Dr. Reynolds. What do you think? I think, honestly, it's a complicated one, right? Because two years ago, when it was all starting up, I could see, yes, that it would have been nice if it had continued down that path. But he's been engaged to someone else that she set him up with and she's been through this whole evolution of like sobriety i don't know but i don't know if you can come back from that but i don't know we'll see okay let's see next question this one is from lad k v l e 
Uh, what do you think about the relationship between Bloom and Legon? Oh, oh, okay. Do you agree with that? Who's L Legon? I'm sorry, I don't understand this one. Legon. Okay. Um, little question here. Will I marry you? Unfortunately, I'm already <laughs> married. Um, and I think that we're going to stay going to stay with this one for a while and see how it goes. But I'll keep you posted. Um, this is a great question. Uh, is it difficult to take the role of a doctor? Yes. Quite frankly, there's a lot of difficult terminologies that you are not used to saying, and I find that with the turnaround of everything difficult, um, but also a lot of fun. And you get to play in a space that there's a heightened reality to it because most people are either having one of the best days of their life or one of the worst days of their life when they're in a hospital. So yeah, I think it's like a good place to be able to play in. Uh, from D Ride Seven, um, what makes me the happiest the most? And it's okay for me to say the little things. And I think actually the little things would be all of the things that make me the happiest are the little things. They they're rarely the the bigger things in life. Um, I guess it's just my family. Uh, my husband's about to make me a cup of tea so that makes me happy <laughs> which he's forgotten about so I just did a little sly reminder um, um, hi for Larry uh, this is your question when will season three on Netflix um, I don't know what country you're in and I also don't really know uh, when it will be on Netflix. So I'm the wrong person to ask. I'm really sorry. I wish I did know for you. And I wish I knew what country you're in. But I don't. So let's shoot up ne Netflix and be like, hey, come on, tell us. When's it going to be on? Okay, what's next? Is everybody having a lovely evening? Do you speak Spanish? Oh, man, I wish I did. No. But I would like to learn. So... Cami Marasso, maybe you could teach me. Oh, hang on, here's my friend Natalie. Hi, I love you. Um, okay, what else have we got here? Any more good questions? Another, will you marry me? I'm from Argentina. Wow, the last guy didn't say that he was from Argentina, so that might make all the difference. I've never been there, so maybe. Just private message me later, we'll figure it out. My husband's not around. Uh, will we see more of Helen's and Lauren's relationship? Yes, we will. You guys are so sweet. There's just a lot of really nice things that I'm reading right now. They're not questions, but I, I like them even more than questions. They're statements. Uh, oh, this is a good one. Are you, uh, do you and, I think it's, uh, do you and Dr. Bloom have the same type of personality? I don't know if we do. I would like to think in some ways we do, but I don't think so. I think we're both, we both, we both can be a little sarcastic. I don't, I guess you'd have to ask other people. I don't know if I'm a good judge of my own personality. Um, <laughs> but we're, we're, I think there's a difference because Lauren is American and I'm English, so if we are similar, it's not as obvious as if we spoke the same. Oh, okay. I'm. I'm. I've realised I'm still live with you on Instagram. <laughs> okay, you jump off now. Okay. Okay. Have a good okay. night. Okay. You too. Take care. You too. Bye. Okay. What have we got here? Uh, I'm 
going to the questions. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, I sorry. I just I just saw all this. I didn't know I needed to tell them to hang up. But don't worry, it's done. They were so sweet. It was so nice to have them with me because I was nervous. So it was nice to have someone else going live with me, making me less nervous. Um, it looked like Prince Charles just came on. No, it's not. Don't worry. Uh, okay, next one. Who is your... Who is my favorite person to work with on set? Uh, do you mean from the cast or do you mean from the crew? Because the answer is still the same. It is, no, I don't have a favorite. I could never possibly, I couldn't possibly say that. Plus it, the variety is the spice of life, right? It's nice that you get to move around and then work with someone different for a little bit. Yeah, I feel like there are, so many people I like working with that you should probably ask me who I don't like working with. It'd be a much more definitive answer. I like working with everyone. Okay, next one. Um, oh, you asked me that so many times. Okay, hang on. Oh, this is a nice one. How is my American accent so good? Uh, I appreciate you saying that. It isn't always uh, that good <laughs> if you say it that way. Sometimes it starts off a little rough in places, but I'm lucky that I get to work with a dialect coach um, and got lots of Americans around me on set, so they all like to hear me slip up and humiliate me. No, not really. They, they will often, they won't really say anything, but if I ask them, if I know that there's some part that I'm struggling with, they will help me. So that's nice. Uh, hi, Adam. Um, we, we shoot New Amsterdam in Brooklyn. Um, season one and season two, we shot at uh, some exteriors of Bellevue Hospital um, in Manhattan and of Kings County Hospital in Brooklyn. And now we are not shooting in real hospitals, but we're at Greenpoint Studios. So we have sets that are built and we just shoot exteriors like outside of Bellevue and some other places around Brooklyn. Hi, Julie. Um, this is a good question. I'm ashamed to say I really don't speak any other languages. I did a little bit of French in school, um, but I wasn't really lucky enough to be able to travel much as a, as a young person. So there's a less of a, at school there was, you know, I started learning French at 11 and then I did it for a few years, like maybe five years, but I've forgotten a lot of it. So I would like to get back into learning a language again. Um, hi, uh, Rain T. Jr. Uh, is New Amsterdam Hospital really existing as a hospital in New York? It is a fictional place, actually, but the show is based on Eric Mannheimer's uh, biography called 12 Patients, which was about his time at Bellevue Hospital. So New Amsterdam is really Bellevue, if you can say that. Uh, another great question. Uh, how often do I travel and what's my favorite tra travel destination? Well, I tell you, I've not done a lot of traveling recently, um, which I think re I've really started to get itchy feet. Um, I used to do a lot more travel and then I had a baby. Uh, so that kept me in one place and New Amsterdam too. You know, we shoot nine months out of the year. So keeps me grounded in one place. Um, so yeah, it's been a long time since I've traveled anywhere. 
uh, but I am desperate to. And there are so many places that are on my list. Um, a lot of places in South America, uh, Italy, I'm desperate. I have been to Italy before, but I'm sort of desperate to go back there. France, you know, all over Europe. I miss Europe a lot. And South America, I've never been to. Um, Bali, uh, Thailand, I love, and I really want to go back there. India, I really want to go to. Um, tell me where else I should go. I mean, where else should I go, guys? <laughs> Okay. Oh. Uh, Lemeni, if I come to visit Chile, yes, you can be my guide. In fact, I insist you are my, gu my guide. Okay. Uh, hi, Lauren Bloom. That's a coincidence. That's my name too. Uh, what is my favorite song? Um, oh, I don't think I have one favorite song. It goes, I tend to listen to something a lot over and over again. Uh, but the kind of music I sort of gravitate towards is like music from the 70s, some of the 80s, even 60s, uh, like glam rock era, T-Rex. Um, who else do I like? ELO, Electric Light Orchestra, a lot of like British bands. Uh, if you weren't Dr. Bloom, what character would you have liked to be? I think I would like to be uh, Iggy's character. Um, yeah, I think that the Iggy is a character that gets a lot of great scenes. Um, and I think about the idea of therapy and having those really intimate moments in a room with just one other person. I think that would be really lovely and sort of juxtaposition from what I do in the ED as Lauren. Oh, hang on, hang on. Let me look at this. T-Rex, ELO, yes, Sean Cassidy. Take me on the road with you, are you kidding? Um, Big Elton John, I've seen, the people I've seen in concert are like Elton John, um, all, all of the same, the same guys who are around your era. <laughs> okay, who else have I got here? What are the questions? Um, oh, am I vegan? No, I am not vegan. Um, I did try to be vegan didn't work out too well for me. Uh, I just, I tried all the, look, I drink a lot of tea and I drink it like a British person with, with milk. I'll try not to tip onto you. Um, so I, I tried all the different milks, like the cashew one, the coconut one, oat milk, almond milk, every single nut milk you can think of. I just couldn't do it. Just, didn't t it tasted really yuck to me. So I do still drink milk and I don't eat meat though. And I do eat fish. So I'm pescatarian really. Great question. How do you get a notice, lol? You just got one. Uh, do I like sugar in my tea? I don't. I used to. And then I weaned myself off around 13, 14. And I never went back. Best decision I could have made, I think, because I have enough sugar in everything else in my life. I don't need it in my tea as well. Um, I have listened to Folklore by Taylor Swift and I loved it. 
but we're big fans of Taylor Swift in this house. Sunday's favorite song is Shake It Off, and she goes, shake, shake, and she dances the whole time, and we play it over and over and over again. So, yeah, big, big Swifties over here. Hi. Okay, guys. Um, okay, this question is from Carice21. Do you like medicine? Depends, really. Um, do I like the idea of medicine or just medicine in general? I, I think if you're sick, and then yes. Yes, medicine, all the way. Um, hi, Two Scoops. Um, you asked why the star on my hand. It makes me a little nervous when people ask me that because I don't think there was really a reason, anything too philosophical. I just liked I wanted to get another tattoo. I had one on the back of my neck and I felt like it was a very symbolic moment when I got it, but I could never see it myself. And I was traveling so much for work. I hadn't seen any of my family for a long time that I wanted to get something that when I look down, um, I know it's, <laughs> I know it's me. That sounds strange, but like I'm, I'm here and that's my hand like tangible in that way. So, that is why I got the star. Uh, hi there, um, Desi, Pas Desi Pasaro. Um, a doctor in Australia in between patients at the moment and using your time very wisely. I appreciate you stopping by, so thank you. Uh, someone here just asked me, uh, has Sunday visited me on the set? She used to a lot the first year because I, I was pregnant um, in season one and then I, had a few episodes where I went to rehab um, and also had Sunday in real life. And then I came back a few weeks after having her for the last two episodes of that season. So she came with me then. And then the second season before the pandemic, she would come quite a lot because, you know, I was feeding her. And it broke up the day nicely for me. So I've missed not being able to, when I go to work now, I don't get to see her until I get home again. Uh, a lot of people are asking me why I'm doing this ridiculous British accent. Well, newsflash, I'm actually British. I know, it's shocking. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I've disappointed you all. I just play American. Mm, what is my favourite episode? I it's too hard to pick a favourite. They all kind of blend into one big story in the end. So it's hard to isolate moments, but I do, I did love the stuff with, um, that we just had this season with Iggy and Bloom in his office together, that mirrored the stuff we did uh, in the first season. Um, I love all the banter with Casey and how great was he in uh, his, ep in the episode, the, the first episode of the season. Um, yeah, it's really exciting getting to work with with him and see him like grow as an actor. I, I know you guys all love him. Uh, okay. Uh, someone here is asking me if Mary, hi Mary, uh, will there be a season four? I think so. I hope I'm not being presumptuous in saying it. NBC did pick us up. So unless something terrible happens, which won't happen. Yeah, we're, we're coming back again. We get to do this all over again and a full 22 episodes as well. So that's exciting. Uh, someone just asked who my dream co-star in a movie would be. Um, Tilda Swinton. 
Okay, let me have a look here. Okay, uh, Brazil loves you so much. Uh, thank you, Brazil. Um, I know I've, I'm big fans of yours too. I need to come visit though. Uh, do I do, do I speak something? Can I say something in Portuguese? I can't. I used to be able to, but I'm very tired and I can't remember anything in Portuguese right now. So, sal? No. Does someone want to? Does someone write Obrigado. something? Obrigado. Obrigado. How was that? How was that? Te amo. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, this is a Salem question. Um, yeah, S Salem, we did three seasons and it was incredible. It really was. Looking back on it, it was, we were, we were very lucky that we got to tell that story and I miss it. But, you know, I'm still, I met one of my best friends on that show and I'm very lucky for that she is still one of my best friends. She just got nominated for a BAFTA as well. I think you all know who I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, I miss Mary. So I don't know, maybe we'll end up trying to do the show again one day. Do a Salem movie. Okay. Um... This is from Chris asking if they rewrote season one because of my pregnancy. Um, and then he also said, you're so talented. And that's very sweet of you, Chris. Thank you. Uh, I don't know if they, re they didn't rewrite. I told them very early on um, because I wanted to give them as much notice, like as much time if they needed to change anything. Uh, so I don't think that they really had to change very much. And, you know, David Shulner was amazing. Uh, and yeah, I think I would have liked to have been able to just write it into Bloom's storyline because trying to hide the fact that you're pregnant. Uh, someone wrote on my Instagram today that I'd got a lot thinner um, now. <laughs> I, I said, well, that's because I was pregnant in season one. Um, but this is the same size. This is what I've always, I'm always like, unless I'm pregnant. Um, anyway, so yes. I probably would prefer to be able to just be pregnant if I get pregnant again. Uh, okay, guys, I'm just going to do a couple more questions. Um, okay, oh, this is a good one. Uh, Anna Young, uh, did you do your astral chart? Do you understand something about it? Big fan, Dr. Bloom and Mary Sibley. Thank you very much. Um, I haven't done my astral chart actually I did my daughter's as a present for her um but yeah I should do mine because I read my star sign a lot and I'm very interested in where we are in the cycle of the moon um I don't know I think it makes it difficult because my mum seems to be unclear on exactly my time of birth this is what happens when you're the second child, people. Just slung aside. No one remembers anything about your birth. But yeah, she seems to think it might have been between anywhere between 6 p.m. and midnight. There's like a huge window that she's not sure on. So it makes my astral chart a little bit difficult. Um... Um, okay, this is a good question. Uh, hi, uh, XX Dana three. Um, hello from Saudi Arabia. After the series, would you rather be a doctor or an actress? I would rather be neither and just get to chill out and do nothing. No, I'm just kidding. I would like to be an actress. I'm not, I don't think I will be able to be a very good doctor. Uh, Unfortunately, I don't think it's the profession for me. Uh, hi, Luis Fernando. Fernandog of 
I'm not gonna be able to say that. Sorry, it's like a lot of words in one. Uh, would you like to have the powers of Mary Sibley in real life? Hell yes, I would. Hi, Maria, Cecilia. Thank you very much. Here's a big hug. Okay, I'm gonna do a couple more questions, guys, then I'm going to go and watch the show, as I'm sure you all are as well. Um, Uh, someone here is asking me if there is anything. What can I tease about Bloom's season three storyline? I will just tell you that tonight is a very important episode in the evolution of Bloom's storyline this season. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say any more. But you might not want to miss it. This is a great question. How long did it take you to get through hair and makeup done on Salem? Surprisingly, makeup took no time at all because I didn't really wear any makeup, um, that very minimal. Hair did take a long time, but more it was the costumes. We had to lace up the corsets and there were, you know, someone had to come in and help dress me because it would usually take a couple of people. Uh, so yeah, that was, and sometimes you don't want to be in it all day long, so you need to eat. So there'll be times you have to get un out of it and then back into it. So hair and makeup was not too strenuous, unless there was some kind of prosthetic, which sometimes there was. Uh... Uh, okay, I'm going to end on this question, but this was really fun. I'm going to come back and do this again. I'm going to learn how to do it, and then I'm going to come back and do it again, all over again. And maybe I'll invite some of my friends. I don't know. You guys met Tyler. Maybe there'll be more that will join me. Uh, okay, so this is a good question from John Paul Benedict. How do you say your big medical words with ease during the show in capital letters? So that's how I saw your question, because it stood out. Um, I can only say it takes practice, practice, practice. It's not easy at first when you're saying things that don't sit well in your mouth. You're not used to saying these words. It makes it more difficult. Um, but we get a drop box of pronunciation, uh, the pronunciation of each word uh, for the table read. So you get to hear someone else do it. Um, obviously, I work with my dialect coach too, so he usually has a good inclination. And then we have a real, um, a real doctor and a real nurse on set who will help me if I end up saying it wrong. But yeah, it just you want to get into a rhythm with it, and the only way you can do that is by repetition, just saying things over and over and over again. Okay, guys. Well, I hope you all enjoy the show tonight, and thank you for joining me. This has been really fun, uh, and I hope we can do it again soon. Okay, guys. Mwah. Speak to you soon.